What's the scariest noise you ever heard? Storm siren. Even when they're just testing them, it gives me chills. Where my house is I can hear three or more municipalities hurricane warning sirens. They mix together in a discordance that sounds like the souls of the damned. It will speed up your evacuation preparations. Especially your bowels. I was kayaking in Florida alone. I had a camera, and I saw baby alligators I got ready to take a pic, when mama gator growled really loud. I never saw her, but I damn near filled my pants with shit. My car broke down on the interstate in Florida just before cell phones were a thing. It was after 10pm, and I had to walk many miles to the nearest exit. It was also near alligator alley. I heard so many noises coming from the side of the road almost the entire walk. Unarmed I have never been more scared in my life. The alligators are armed to the teeth. Also with teeth. But those arms are pretty damn short. But they can move faster than you can run. Extremely husky voice asking me suit. Meaning what are you doing? In Greenlandic. We were only two kids on the farm. And knew there weren't any adults nearby. That means an unknown man had come down from the mountains. And was standing behind me. My heart is racing. I know I'm in trouble. When I looked back. There was no. Just couple of sheep. I was sure I heard a man and was puzzled. Suit looked again and was horrified. If it's not a man. It must be a lonely walker. A man who chose to live outside the society. A part of Greenlandic folklore. My heart is racing. I'm trying to make sense of everything. There is noon behind me. No man. Do I answer? Do I run? Where should I? A child. Run away from a man. The nearest settlement is hours away. Can I fight? Should I fight? Am I in trouble? Backslash backslash a sheep came with a sharp inhale suit. The fucking sheep was coughing. Sorry I laughed. I do every time I tell this story. Noon expected to be one of the sheep. I had never been so scared before. LOL. Heard a little girl screaming papa in Paris while two men tried to abduct her. Fucking harrow ring sound. Please tell me that tried, meant that they were unsuccessful, and that she is fine. It does. They were unsuccessful. Thank fuck for that. A mountain lion at night is terrifying. It sounds like a woman screaming bloody murder. Yep. Common thing up in the Olympic NP. Will wake you right out of deep sleep, and raise the hair on your neck. There's a damn solid reason dogs aren't allowed in the ONP. Thea cougar bait will get their owners killed first. 2. A mountain lion will attack and kill a human. Absolutely. Even other cougars. Even attempt elk or mountain goats twice their size if they're hungry. Waking in the dark to the gentle sound of a lioness licking condensation off my tent wall. This weed waking is wanking, and it made for a very different story. I prefer your version. My grandfather when I was 3 he was a gunner in WW1 and would scream in his sleep every night for the rest of his life. Oh shit PTSD sucks. The second scariest was the screams of a man dying after getting hit by a train. The first scariest was the silence that then followed those screams. My buddy killed three. Two girls in their late teens fucking around on the tracks. Separate incidents. And a dude which was most likely a suicide. He then had PTSD and took medical retirement. Don't train tracks have some sort of like gap between the station. If someone were to be on T tracks when they, they didn't want to, could they just like stand in that gap or whatever until it left? Sure. One girl was putting pennies on a track while another train was going by and couldn't hear my butt's train. Other girl and her boyfriend were on addresses and panicked. They were on the opposite track and she ran to the other track to get out of the way. Her shorts were stuck to the front of his engine. He was doing at least 70 miles per hour. That's why I hate trains until I'm inside or 15 feet away from them. Really I'm scared of trains. I was able to be in the corridor of the lion pens in a zoo at dusk. They started making noise. Not roars. Just growls. You could feel it in your bones. Could not imagine hearing that in the wild. Hell. Man. Just hearing lion noises on YouTube or whatever makes me feel like my skin is crawling backwards. Can't imagine it in real life. I worked at the zoo for my first job. Nothing cool like feeding the animals. Just feeding the human animals. 
but we'd leave after closing up when the sun starts to set around 6 6 30. It's quiet with just us employees leaving and no regular customers. The lions were near the exit and we'd hear them make their special growl slash raw nightly letting the people feeding them know that it's dinner time. I love cats big and small, wild and domestic, but it always made me feel the same way. I now have a main coon in my life, three weeks being a part of the family, and when we snuggle up on the couch, she has this real rumbly purr when you pet her. Freak me out a tiny bit at first. I'm used to my oldest cat's deep but regular purr and my youngest's little purr. I was like oh I guess I actually have a lion now. The sound of something cocking a shotgun when there shouldn't be a shotgun on an emergency scene. Run. It's usually run then shit your pants. I got those two confused. I just shit my pants and froze for a second. I'm sorry I laughed. But seriously that must have sucked. I laugh about it all the time now. It's all good. My PC's fan getting caught on a cable and shredding the cable to pieces in the middle of the night. Alone in the dark. Fucking shit made me scream in horror because I was having a nightmare at the same time anyway. Sorry I laughed. Me too. Sorry. Still laughing. Sorry. Same bro. It was the lack of noise. When the nurse placed the doctor over my pregnant belly during delivery and cold and find a heartbeat. Complete panic. Eight doctors rushing in. And five minutes later. It started again. We were taken directly into an emergency c-section and our son was thankfully born healthy. That's really good. My brother put a speaker in my room. When I was younger with Tasmanian devils screeching. It was pitch black. This is what they sound like. Link. YouTube com slash watch v equals z3 raj 8 prtq link youtube com slash watch v equals z3 raj 8 prtq the mental image this gave me actually made me laugh out loud your brother is an evil genius we live in an old house in a garden level apartment was in the living room one night and was cleaning up before bed heard what sounded like a mouse near the front door so walked over when I got close to the door it went thump 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 really loudly and shook. I leapt out of the room. And locked the only door leading out of the living room. Checking my canary security cam in bed. 30 minutes later as I'm falling asleep I get an intruder alert. So I freak out. Check the footage and it's a giant moth flying by the camera. No idea what caused the thumps. We never get late night knocks on the door. Thoroughly bizarre experience that terrified me. Mothman. Nearby laughing. While camping alone on my property. Hold up. I got in my truck and drove the fuck out of there. Smart. Well thing is I even forgot my pistol in my tent. Which was gone the next day. It was a domesticated dog. It was a big lazy thing. That looked like a big softy. But something happened. That it didn't like. And it growled this growl. That was so much deeper and louder than anything human can make. And I just froze. For a split second I felt like a caveman about to be eaten by a wolf. It was just something primal and instinctual. And I had to take a minute. Because it was shocking to experience just how ingrained. That sound is in us. What set the dog off to make that sound? I had a gentle giant of a dog who jumped up on my bed. Because there was an intruder in the backyard and let out that growl. It was so low. Menacing and fucking loud. I called out. I'm giving you 10 seconds before I let him out. Good luck. After that it was like Looney Tunes. Nothing but a puff of smoke. When your 10mm socket falls through the engine bay and doesn't hit the floor. Do socket sets actually come with 10mm in them? Cause I can never find mine. For about the first 15 minutes. After you open the package. Open the package. Pick up the 10mm. And wish it good luck on its travels. As to can death whistle. I shouldn't have googled that. You ever wish you could go back 5 minutes in time. Ellie 5 and died on want nightmares. It sounds like the most blood curdling ear piercing girl scream. To me it sounds like that old sound effect for a screaming girl. Really cool to know it's a whistle and they didn't have screen tryouts for the sound effect. There was a dashcam video some time back. Very NSFL. Basically family off on a normal drive somewhere. I like during the trip a brick comes flying off a nearby truck. 
straight through the windscreen. Kills a passenger outright. The cries of absolute horror. Processing the sudden and inconsolable loss. That is the scariest thing I've heard. It shakes me to the core because there is no version of life where you can avoid or prepare for something like that. And I have absolutely zero motivation to find that video. Y'all don't need to hear that. Yes. This was the video I immediately thought of. It's NSFL not because of any gore, it's just a dashcam video of the road and a flying brick. But the sounds. My god. I just watched it. Damn. James Luke Dempsey come down here right now. At that moment he knew he had fucked up. I read this in the voice of the narrator from the Stanley Parable. LOL. A stray dog came into our neighborhood when I was a kid. He was being friendly to everybody, but somebody's pet rabbit got out, and the stray dog immediately went into kill mode, and killed the rabbit. The scream that rabbits make when they're in distress is terrifying. Yeah I hate rabbit screams. Frackin horrifying sounds. I have kids. Thunk then silence. Moom. Thunk. My mom's name is Thunk too. My mom's name is Thong. Fox noises come straight from hell. My friend told about how a fox was screaming outside her window at night. She compared it to children getting murdered. I guess that's what the fox says. A tank firing. I didn't know they were about to fire, so I was walking around without ear bro. Pretty sure I got tinnitus from just that. You served? Mess served is a misleading word. I had a shitty job that I walked around in the woods with a heavy back on for about 6 years. Got paid for it. Thanks for your service in a hoe. I was tying down a plane one night when I lived in a town near the Mexico border. Think McAllen or Harlingen in Texas. Check out a map if you don't know where they are. I was a flight instructor at the time and was supposed to be doing a night flight with a student who didn't show up. More than once I had been approached by border patrol or law enforcement. Telling me to be mindful of drugs and gang activity. As I finished, I heard footsteps approaching and skirted the side of the hangar to avoid being seen. Hoping to give the student a scare and then an earful about being late and not calling. Instead I had the misfortune of hearing two men talking in Spanish. Neither of them the student. They walked straight up to the plane and were discussing it. Activating a security light that I had been shielded from activating by the plane. Both had guns and I would have sooner believed Trump suddenly deciding to give up his fortune than these men being in law enforcement of any sort. The scary part was when one looked around and called. Pilot girl. We know you're there. If I could run the way I did that night on a regular basis, I would have qualified for the Olympics. Luckily my car was a quick dash away and I wasted no time in hightailing it away from there. That sounds sucky. It was terrifying because it had been reinforced multiple times that a young female pilot might look like an easy target, especially if she has a plane. Yeah, I was scared for you at your description of the men, but when they said girl I was way more scared. Thank goodness you were hiding. That was when I knew they were bad news as well. No one with decent intents would try to use mounds that are meant to make you feel small and weak. The sound of my nose and both orbitals fracturing while I face planted slash scorpioned into the snow. I initially thought it was my neck, but luckily my mug took the brunt of it. Remember to always wear a helmet when skiing and to be as sober as possible on the last run. Caption link com slash jaff or wmdx jpg a helmet would not stop my massive skna slamming into the ground are you a minecraft villager by any chance perg lol the noise difference when the dental drill goes from tooth to bone a normal buzzing beat to a wood chipper this made my physically ill ugh i hate any dental work i start violently shaking like a leaf even just sitting in the chair aloud Metallic sounding ring slash screech that seemed to be coming from the center of my empty bedroom. It happened three times and I was convinced that I had a brain tumor causing hallucinations. It was my Galaxy's Edge lightsaber making a low battery warning. The most terrifying part about this is the price of the lightsaber. Very true. But it looks so fucking cool. My yard was filled with rabbits one night as I got out of my car. 
I could hear them screaming. Sounded like a hundred little terrified children. Have the rabbits stopped screaming? Clarice? Hey, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.